it's me Ashley and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day. Today guys, I have got for you my very first glossy box unboxing. So yes, I started a subscription to Glossybox. So today guys, I'm gonna do the unboxing with you guys. Obviously I haven't opened it yet. This is my very first Glossybox. Um, I've obviously seen lots of unboxings and previous things from them. I haven't seen this month, but I am really, really excited to try it. I think Glossybox always seems to do really good boxes. So I was on an hour in between that and Look Fantastic at the beginning of the year. I went with Look Fantastic because I know that's more skincare heavy and I like a good skincare range, but I am really excited to get this. Okay, so I have actually subscribed to Glossybox for 12 months. So for the next 12 months, there will definitely be a Glossybox unboxings on my channel. So the box, if you just do it a month at a time, it costs £10 with £3.25 postage. And if you subscribe for 12 months like I have, then the box will only cost you £8.50 and again the £3.25 postage. Now that works out at a saving of £18 over the year. So I think that's a nice little uh, saving really. That's a, like a box and a bit. Okay, so let's just open this. Like I say, it's my very first. I'm excited. I think this month um, it's got like an animal themed box and there's a different, um, there's two different boxes you can possibly get. I don't know what I've got. So let's see. Quite excited. Okay, so we have, oh, we have the leopard one that's really nice I think it was a leopard or a zebra one um, quite excited to have this one so it says wild thing on the box we have the glossy box logo on the back and the front and of course on the top it's an absolutely beautiful box I believe this is obviously a special box they're usually like pink boxes with um, the glossy box logo in black uh, but that's a beautiful box. I I love these boxes, like they look fantastic ones and things. I'm kind of storing in a cupboard at the minute and when I get around to doing my beauty room eventually, we know I talk about this very often, uh, but lockdowns kind of put everything on hold. So, right, it's my first box. So I don't really know what to expect. Um, I imagine there's a leaflet inside. Let's open it up. Okay, so, oh wow, it's so pretty. Um, we get a little bow and we do get... Um, a little leaflet which I think will tell you about the product yes I believe so so it's this month's theme is obviously explore the wild side um, okay so inside the lid there's some cute little paw prints and things okay I love the presentation on this I think these uh, glossy boxes look fantastic always do really really well so we've got a little ribbon we can undo and then we also have some golden tissue paper, which is super pretty. Um, here we go, and I've done it. And then a quick little sneak peek of our products. Woo! Okay, so I'm gonna look at the little leaflet and go through the products one by one um, and kind of show you what I've got. So let's do it. Let's read the little write-up first about the box itself. So it says, hey glossies. Um, this May we're embracing our wild side with two special design boxes and you've just received our leopard wild thing edit um, featuring five full-size products um, this box will introduce you to an array of sassy beauty must-haves that will make you feel fierce and free we're taking um, oh, sorry we're talking a sultry eye makeup animal print beauty tools taming skincare and more to help you rule the urban jungle Unleash your inner feline glosses and show the world who's boss. Already really intrigued, all sounds really nice. Five full size products, that's fantastic. Um, like I say, I paid um, £11.75 for this box, so I feel like whatever I'm going to get, I think I'm going to get my money's worth. Okay, so I'm just going to go through the uh, leaflet and show you the boxes one by one. Um, I think with Glossy Box, everybody gets more or less the same products and there's perhaps one or two that there's like two different options. Like we had two different possible ways of getting the box this month. I think it's very much like that. Okay then guys, so our very first product is an eyeshadow palette. And I must admit, I think I did see this when I was subscribing to it. I can't remember what's inside, but I know that there was an eyeshadow palette. And this one is by Steve Laurent, um, or Laurent. I don't know if I've heard of him. I feel like I have, but I can't quite 
place it. Anyway, um, the little write-up about this palette says, to embrace your wild side and experiment with new sultry eye looks thanks to this gorgeous leopard print eyeshadow palette. Boasting nine creamy and intense shades, the silky smooth pigments glide effortless effortlessly onto your lid to deliver some serious colour. You can use the soft matte hues to create a subtle day look or blend the shimmery dark colours together to build an evening design. So this is um, an RRP of £31. So already, we've definitely got our money's worth. So let's open this up and have a little look. Okay, I thought that maybe the animal print was going to be on this also, but it's not, but that's fine. Um, so opening it out, we've got some fairly neutral colours. Um, some nice shimmer shades and some matte shades. It's quite a usable palette and I imagine for most skin tones. So that's really, really nice, really. I, I don't need an eyeshadow palette, I'm not gonna lie. I have lots, um, but these are the type of colors that I can use and I like how um, like portable that's gonna be. Portable, travelable. I don't know, it's travel size. That's maybe what I'm trying to say. Uh, anyway, that seems like a really good one. Maybe I'll do a little video on the eyeshadow palette. Let me know if you're interested in that. Um, like I said, they're not a brand I've used before, but um, I will definitely look forward to it. Like I said, they're definitely my colors. Okay then, moving on to the next product according to the book, and it is this Sphere Lip Balm from EOS, Evolution of Smooth. Um, okay, so the little write-up about this says, don't let painful, dry, chapped lips stop you from living your wildest adventures. Full of nourishing and soothing ingredients like shea butter, jojoba oil and vitamin E, fab. Um, these natural lip balms deeply hydrate, condition your pout. Whether you receive the sweet mint, the pomegranate, the raspberry or strawberry sorbet flavours, you'll be left with soft, smooth and supple lips. And this costs £6.50 at full retail price. So it looks like I've got the mint one. Um, I'm not a huge fan of mint, I'll be honest. I think as a lip balm, I can get away with it. Um, but I don't like the taste of mint. I find it's the most overpowering taste and I can taste it in anything, even if it's the smallest amount. So I hate it in food. So I wouldn't want to wear this around the time I'm gonna be eating, <laughs> but to uh, use like out and about, like dog walking and things, it's gonna be a useful one. I haven't actually tried one of these, but I've heard so many good things about them. So I'm hoping I'll enjoy it. Okay, so the next thing in the box, according to um, the booklet is a face mask. We all know I love a face mask. Face Mask Friday has another contender. So let's do the little write-up on this. Okay, so this mask is from OK, and it is their SOS printed sheet mask. It says, channel your inner spirit animal with these fun sheet masks. Filled with skin-loving ingredients like tea tree, witch hazel, willow bark, and charcoal powder, they work to calm, tone, balance your skin for clearer, clearer? clearer and healthier looking complexion. Apply yours onto a clean face for 10 to 20 minutes, then gently peel off and massage the remaining serum in. So this has a recommended retail price of four pounds. I have used OK masks before, and to be honest, I quite like them. So haven't tried this one. So I think it looks like we get them in, there's a possibility of getting this one in three different um, patterns. I think, I assume they are all, Oh no, they're not. I was going to say, I assume they're all the same, just different pattern, but I don't think they are. Mine is the one that comes with Witch Hazel, and it is their Peacock print, so that's going to be super cute. But there's also the possibility of getting what looks like a leopard print mask, and a something else print mask. I can't tell. Anyway, the, I've got Peacock one. This will happen um, on a face mask Friday, no doubt. Um, it's a funky looking one, so you know I'm gonna definitely want to use it. Um, like I said, I do have quite a backlog of face masks to use, but if you're interested, I can uh, kind of push this one along in the queue if anybody's curious as to what it's gonna be like. Moving along then, our next item is from Mudmasky. Okay, that's not um, anybody I've heard of before, but this is a hair mask, scalp treatment, and miracle shampoo. Um, so it says, tame your dry, damaged, frizzy mane with this newly launched three-in-one hair care treatment. Formulated with Moroccan argan oil, Moroccan mud and flowers, it first moisturises the skin on your scalp, then repairs, hydrates and strengthens your tresses, massage onto a wet scalp and hair, then leave for one minute and then rinse. You'll have beautiful, healthy locks in no time. 
Okay, so this has an RRP apparently of £21. Um, okay, so I have a lot of hair. And I mean, this is a decent size, but I don't feel like I'm going to get a lot of uses. Maybe like two, depending on how much you need to put on. As a mask, I always tend to put quite a bit on. And so there's a little star next to it, which does say that all of these refer to the full-size products. But these are all full-size products. So, um, yeah. Okay, so that's 75 mils in there. Um, it's not tested animals. It's paraben and sulfate-free. It's got natural ingredients, yada, yada, yada. And like I said, depending on how much I put on, I don't know how much use you're going to get in that, but it is a full size, so we shall see. Okay then, let's move on to our very last item. <gasps> Ooh, I think it's going to be a pretty one. So this is from Stargazer, something I haven't heard of, and it is a glitter eyeliner pencil. Um, I don't tend to use eyeliner too often, um, and when I do, I tend to use more of a liquidy one, but I love me some glitter, so happy to have some glitter. <laughs> so it says, the little write-up anyway, it says, nothing says fierce like an eyeliner with a touch of shimmery flair. These eye pencils not only feature highly pigmented formulas, but they have a sparkle of glitter scattered throughout them too. Apply yours along the upper lash line and blend out for scintillating smoky effect, <laughs> or sharpen the tip and draw a precise winged eye and with sparkly undertones. So it looks like there is a choice of well, they're not a choice of, you get one of six different colours. Um, the one I have got is called Mauve. Mauve. I can't, why can't I say that properly? Um, uh, so it's like a purpley brownie tone. That would be really nice, actually. So, yeah, glittery eye pencil. Yes. Okay, then. So that is everything in this month's box. Let's do a little rundown. So we get the eyeshadow palette, which has some fabulous neutral shades in there that I think like most people can use. I certainly like that type of uh, tones for like an everyday look. Um, we have the lip balm, which, you know, you can never have too many lip balms really, can you? You know, I have one by the side of my bed, one in my coat, <laughs> one on the dining table. Um, anyway, we also have a face mask and a hair mask. There's some really great pamper treats. This one will be fab for a face mask Friday. And then we have that fab glittery eyeshadow, eyeshadow, eyeliner pencil, which might actually go really nicely with the um, eyeshadow palette. So as a first box, I'm really happy. I've paid 11 pound and 75 pence for this. This is obviously worth a lot more. Obviously this one was worth, what was it? 20 odd pounds in itself. Um, then we got a four pound thing, six pounds, blah, 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 blah. Um, did I say how much the eyeliner was worth? I don't know if I did, sorry guys. That is worth two pounds. So it's not crazy expensive, but two pounds, it's a nice little addition to the box. I'm quite excited to try it actually. <laughs> Glittery eye eyeliner, yes. Okay, so I'm happy with the box. Drop me a comment and let me know what you guys think of it. Um, like I said, this is my very first glossy box, so I don't know what to expect, but I'm really happy with what I've got. So there is a couple of things on the back of the booklet that I will um, chat to you about now. So there is a sneak peek for June's box. So if you don't want any spoilers for June's box, then please look away now. So in June, we're traveling around the globe to discover a world of beauty beyond our own borders. So your first sneak peek, a long lasting waterproof, smudge proof, smudge proof, dual ended eyeliner brought to you by the Iraqi American beauty guru, Huda Katan. Wow, so we've got Huda Beauty product next month. That's fab. Um, so it's worth 18 pounds and it boasts a liquid liner on one end and a creamy pencil on the other to allow you to create endless eye looks. That sounds amazing. Huda Beauty, how great is that? Wow, okay, I said I've had a good time. And um, there's a couple of other bits of information. Apparently there's a social competition for the chance to win, it's a chance to be crowned Glossy of the Month and will incredible beauty prizes, oh my God. Um, to take part, you simply post an unboxing photo on Instagram and then tag Glossy Box UK. Okay, and then they announce the winners on their social channels. Um, it also tells you about, with um, Glossy Box, you do get some Look Fantastic credit back. So it says, did you know that you can earn up to 10 pounds of Glossy credit by referring a friend or filling in our product surveys and leaving a product review? You can then spend the credit on lookfantastic.com where you'll be able to find all of your favorite brands such as MAC, The Ordinary, NYX and Urban Decay. Yada yada. And then it's also got a bit about the Glossy Lounge, which is on their website. So that's my uh, very first Glossy box. Uh, I, I've been really excited to actually open this. It's been sat aside for a couple of days before I found the time to film and I've been desperate to get in there. So I'm really glad I finally opened it. 
I'm actually really happy with everything I've got. Like I said, I paid £11.75 pence, which I think makes it one of the cheapest of the beauty boxes. It's definitely cheaper than my Look Fantastic one, which I also get at slightly marked down, but you do get six products in that one. And then I think it's cheaper than when I got Glossy Box too. So Glossy Box, oh my God, Birch Box. <laughs> um, and to be honest, nothing against Birch Box because I absolutely enjoyed getting that and I love the little drawer boxes and things, but I'm definitely preferring my Look Fantastic subscription to that and Glossy Box is looking like it's gonna be a winner. So thank you so much for watching. Drop me a comment, like I said, let me know what you think because I'm gonna be getting more Glossy Boxes every single month. Um, if you like the video, then please do me a favor and hit that like button and give me a huge thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure that you are subscribed because like I say, I've got 12 months worth of bossy boxes coming up. I do look fantastic every month and so, so, so much more. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.